My name is Lizzie and I'm going to be doing a special fold every week. I hope this can be a really lovely place for you to come and join me and to do maybe something new and to really relax and get focused on something else. Um, people have found it really helps lift mood. I can certainly vouch for that. It's a lovely way of making something special that will make you smile and will give you, I think, some some pleasure and some comfort. It's a very simple but astonishing technique, paper folding. So I'm going to be taking you on a journey, different fold every week, and on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock and Fridays at 8pm UK time, I'm also going to be doing live folds through YouTube if you uh, if you keep an eye out. Then you can join me in, in time, which is amazing to feel that we'll be folding there together and we've had people already from around the world as well so I hope you can join me there but this is a film which you can watch at any time so this week I'm going to make a special little kind of Easter basket um, which seems quite topical and actually this little gorgeous basket was um, shown to me by Rima so she's someone who has been participating and she described that she learned how to make this from her grandfather so when she was a little girl, she learnt this and she's grown up to be working in a hospital, caring for people. So I thought this was really special because actually origami is all about connection, spending time with somebody else special. And through that, you pass on something wonderful, which is obviously a lovely passing on. And we can still do this on film. So in a moment, I'm going to direct the camera down, but I'm going to show you how to make the little basket. Um, and you can maybe put little chocolate eggs in, um, anything you fancy. I've been making little hearts. I could maybe show you at the end how to make the hearts. They're quite simple, but it certainly cheered me up. Um, here's an example of here. I've just used some scrap paper and I'd written something and actually looks rather nice if you use paper that's maybe already been used and you can fold it into a basket. No glue. It really does all stay together. This is an old traditional piece of origami as well. Um, or you could use pattern paper and it looks very pretty. So I hope you'll enjoy this one. All you need today is an A4 piece of paper. If you're in America, then letter is fine as well. I'll show you what to do. So I'm going to direct the camera down. And I've only just learnt this last week, actually. But it's a beautiful piece. So let's hope I can remember it. Here we go. Directing this down. So each time I'm going to show you how to fold from an, a piece of paper that you're likely to have around somewhere at home or at work. And maybe this is something you can do as kind of respite. Um, particularly this is dedicated to my colleagues at UCH a Hospital. I'm thinking of you very much at this time and hoping that this can be a way I can offer some relaxation for you. So I folded it nice and neatly along that bottom line and you can see there's a, a rectangle we need to get rid of that rectangle so I turn it over and fold it back so you can see the line there so origami I have my you've already heard it if you've watched any of my videos before but um, I have my three rules my first rule is be very precise start well it continues well Start badly, it gets worse and worse. Second rule is to give good strong folds. Can you see I'm being giving good strong folds? Actually, that releases a nice bit of pressure as well, but it also means that it will all work very well. My third rule, not to forget, remember this is meant to be fun, so remember to enjoy yourself. Next, I'm showing you without any tools at all, so because I've done a nice strong line, you can then just tear it. And itself is quite satisfying, isn't it? And I love how this is using the most everyday materials to make something extraordinary, which people go, wow, how did you do that? And you can take photographs, can't you, and share that way. So we've already got a lovely diagonal line. We're next going to do the other diagonal line. You'll recognise, if you've done any with me before, that they often start off in the same way. There are what's called different bases. And from these simple starts, amazing things emerge. I still feel as if I'm very much learning too. There we go. So we've done the two horizontals. I'm going to go fairly slow so that you have time to follow me. But you can always pause, go back as well. So we've done the diagonals. 
Next thing, it's really useful is to turn it to the other side, turn it over. You see, it's already a nice shape. It will help with the folding up. So we're going to do a horizontal line and then a vertical line. And there's just something very satisfying. You go from a flat piece of paper and it becomes three dimensional. And people have figured these things out and then passed it on to others. That's great. And then we'll do a horizontal as well. So it's all angles now. Well, not quite all angles, but your diagonals and your horizontal and verticals. That's right. Now you should be able to just fold it up. Can you see? Into a square. Oh, I'll direct the camera up a bit there. So with once you've done it both directions, it will either just fold up into a square. Sometimes people say, no, it's a triangle, which is if you're holding it the other way up. So it can either become a triangle or you can turn it over and pop it underneath a square. So make sure it's the square, which should actually be the first thing that happens. So once it's a square, oh, I'm going to direct it down a bit again is we're going to take one of these sides and I'm going to fold this down to here like so and actually I meant to say that little bit that we tore off is going to be essential it's going to be the handle for our basket there we go and if we turn it over and again this top side bring it down but I think it's important, whatever the situation, to have made sure that you've given yourself some time to relax. And often that can be quite hard to unwind. And actually doing something, I think, physical like this does help. Think of this as a workout for your mind. Our next step, you see how it's down here at the bottom, is to then fold it up there. You see, hopefully the white feels quite good at being able to you to see so I've just folded it up to that line turn it over on the other side and it's the same thing taking this little point and I'm folding it up here there we go great right I'm going to take the, the strip that I tore off earlier as I meant to say is all useful so we're going to just fold it vertically in half it's such a neat design this so for Rima it's her grandfather who taught her this it really will be an old piece of origami and it's not one I'd, I'd done before so it's been rather exciting again I always try and take what people have offered as a as a gift so it feels lovely to be passing this on as Rima has to me so I'm gonna then fold it in half again like so <clears throat> so we had it in half and then fold it into the middle and then the same thing on the other side hope you can see all this okay a little bit better lighting in the day so actually been so many sunny days recently thank goodness for spring there we go and then if you then fold it in half so you've got all the bits coming into the middle and then folding it in half there. That's going to be your handle. It already feels quite strong. And if you also fold it in half, so down here to down there, in half, we're getting there. Yep. So next, you can see this it has a basket feel to it already. What we're going to do is we're going to pop the top of the handle down into there can you see down there tucking it underneath keep it all nice and in the middle and it should just perfectly fit over so do the same thing on the back take your handle and pop it underneath that's right so it's all neatly keeping everything centered like that and our next step then is to fold this up like so 
you're kind of it's nice because you're tucking everything away but all of this locks it in place so we're folding up here and this is very much engineering as well i love it because i'm actually a scientist originally this is so much science you feel a sense of discovery and in science you're learning from others this is also about learning from others too and you will be making it your own as well it's your own it feels like very much your own discovery as you learn how things work so again taking it here from the bottom and we're going to fold up there so there we go that's great it's already looking like a basket isn't it so our next step i find it easier to do it this way so i can show you is to take that corner and fold it to the middle line can you see so taking the corner and folding it to the middle line we're going to end up tucking it away but i think this is a better way to show you and for you to see what you're doing and the same thing so this corner and again bringing it there like so and then turn it to the other side same thing again so taking the corner and folding it there and this actually makes quite a reasonable size basket and you really can pick it up by the handle as well that's right so bringing it here to the middle and folding it down right our next step is to each of these flaps that we fold it down we need to tuck around underneath so this needs to go underneath here i'm just reversing that fold we could have done it straight away like that but actually i think it's easier to do it this way and you can see what you're doing that way so again this you need to tuck it underneath here tuck it underneath here so I've actually learned mostly through, I was shown by someone actually who was a patient on how to make some beautiful flowers and she asked me to learn to pass on to others. Um, past that I've actually learned through YouTube, I found videos very good and there's so many really good ones. But I'm really keen to sort of offer this to you here as, um, as an experience, as a time that we're all going through and I think being, feeling connected and being together is really important. And this is the sort of thing I would normally do one to one. So I hope you get a little bit of that feeling of care. So again, we're going to take this little flap and tuck it underneath. And maybe this is obviously something you can do at home. Maybe if you are, if there are other people that you're sharing with your family, if they're at home, then you could share this as well. Or obviously we all need to distance. So for others, you can take photographs, show online or maybe share these tutorials because they're, they're there for anybody to use. So it may be that you work in a hospital or a care home, or it may be that you're isolating as I am. I'm doing good and working at home. And this is a way I can reach more of you. There we go. You can see it's looking like a basket. The next thing is to make it three dimensional. So to do that, these little bits here, we can flatten down. Can you see? It's all very three-dimensional. I'd normally get my hands on what you're making as well and show you. But I'm afraid we've got to do it this way. And actually, it works surprisingly well, I hope. Can you see? I'm opening it up, pulling this, this one out. And again, folding that down. And it's beginning to give it a three-dimensional structure. But it's not quite, it's not quite that. So you need to pull out bottom use your fingers and it will flatten it down so i'm putting my fingers in there our next step then is these flaps i mean you could leave them out but they look a bit strange is just again reverse that fold so it's sticking out and you want to get that back in so i'm simply gonna get that back in and maybe you could have coloured the paper or maybe you could decorate it at the end. I mean, this, this is really nice if you're going to do a little egg hunt this coming weekend. It's always a fun thing to do. If you, if you do have kids at home, then it's a lovely thing to do. You could have made the little baskets and then I've already hidden some little eggs or chocolates around the place. 
people actually why do you need to be a child to do that if you have if you're living with somebody else why don't you uh, have a little bit of fun with a little bit of uh, spotting the chocolates there we go popping that in there so there we go again just tucking it around it's like there's a nice little cloth in there even and then the final step is at the moment it's quite angular the, the handle you can slightly smooth it and then you should be able to lift it up and that's your little basket so you could put in little chocolates or things i've been putting little hearts in which have just I found really lovely to do so it's a little basket of love um I could show you maybe actually how to make a little heart. This is something I've done previously. It's a very simple piece of origami. So I can really briefly show you how to make a heart. But really, if you made your basket, you can stop there. But I'm just going to show you briefly how to make a heart as well. So I'm going to get, again, I'm going to show you from normal paper. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So maybe if I take my paper, Fold it in half. Again, I'm going to do everything by just creasing. So I'm folding it in half. Like so. I'm going to tear that. Oh, I haven't done it that carefully. That's all right. <laughs> just goes to show the harder you make that line, the, e the better it tears. I'm going to make it smaller again, actually. So I'm going to fold it in half again. Just making a smaller piece of paper, that's all. There we go. And again, tearing that. Ah, oh, that was a better fold, wasn't it? You can see it tears much better when you folded it well. There we go. Um, and I'm going to make this into a square. So again, taking the corner, bringing it down in line. But it may be that you've got like little magazines from the past or bits of wrapping paper you can make a few hearts if you feel like it that just suddenly struck me last night that'd be a nice thing to do you don't have to have chocolates but you could have some origami in there so again turn it to the other side and folding back along there it's actually harder to see isn't it now i'm using a, a darker color but i think we have to do red for a heart and again i'm just getting rid of that strip as so and this is one of the simplest pieces of origami but it's really effective so i'm going to start to put little rainbows of hearts in my window i think so we've done a vertical line already now if you fold it the other way but actually just pinching in the middle this will make a nicer heart so i'm just going to pinch there up at the top like so now I'm going to bring the top and fold it into the middle. Again, I find it easier to press down maybe, like so. And then the bottom one up here, we're almost there, believe it or not. This really is a simple piece of origami. But it, so it makes a lovely display if you do a few of these hearts. There we go. Right, the next step is to take the side and fold it up here. You can see we're almost there. So there we go in a straight line. And over the coming weeks, I'm going to be showing you different folders I said every week, but you'll be learning loads of lovely things. I recommend just a fold a week is about the right rate. You, you don't want to do too many. Just enjoy, perfect it, feel satisfaction. And the following week we can do something else. I'll try and think of appropriate things. So here, use a little bit of an angular heart. You can just gently fold in like the sides there and the top. Here we go, and the top. And the top there. And the great thing with origami is it's very cheap. You can, everyone's got some paper at home. And the possibilities with it are amazing. You'll find there's so many good videos out there. There we go. So a heart, which we could go into your little basket if you feel like it. So there we go. So thank you very much. I hope you found this 
hope you found this relaxing and something a little bit different. Um, hopefully you've made your own basket and if you felt like it a little heart as well. So, uh, and I'll see you hopefully for a live fold soon too. <clears throat> so, um, and I'll do these regular films as well. So take care everyone. And I hope this has brought a little bit of fun and sunshine to your day or evening. Bye-bye.